Hello, tuning in with Tom Tuning Inners, I guess is the only way to put it. Uh, coming at you with another one of my sticks videos. You probably, I don't know, you might be bored with them by now. I don't know. Why do I do them? Sticks, 1979, first concert I ever saw. Uh, very sentimental band for me. The, the songs that I danced with my high school girlfriends were all stick songs. Those beautiful love songs. The, the, the songs that I listened to while I smoked a marijuana cigarette. We used to call them joints back then with my buddies. Uh, stick songs. Uh, songs that I listened to when I think about some of my old friends. Think of old friends and the times we had. <laughs> Come sail away. Oh, man. Just, I mean... Music has just been a huge part of my life, and I, I owe Sticks the band uh, a lot. Uh, I, I owe it to them, because it was my first concert. I was like 13 years old. My parents were crazy enough to let me go to a smoke-filled arena and catch a, a rock band. And I fell in love with them. Fell in love with music. I got a huge album collection behind me. Uh, I've spent you know, years writing about and interviewing people, including members of Sticks. So... <clears throat> the latest interview that went up on Ultimate Classic Rock with Dennis DeYoung addresses the current, I guess some people call it a feud, I'm going to call it a disconnect, because I think disconnect is the better word, between Dennis DeYoung, James Young, and Tommy Shaw. Now, in previous videos, if you've seen them, my opinion has always been the same. I think these are guys that, that at some point, they had a, a very deep affection for each other as, as human beings. Some legal things got in the way. Some life things got in the way. It happens. We're getting old, all of us, including us fans. And I'm going to speak from a fan perspective. And if I was speaking to Dennis, to Tommy and JY at this point, which if you agree with me, speak to him in the comments. Guys, one of you just needs to pick up the phone. Just one of you. And if it isn't you, maybe it's one of your wives. And I know JY... Lost his wife recently within the last few years, so maybe it's Dennis's wife. Maybe it's Tommy's wife. Uh, there's there was a story I'll never forget reading about. You know there was a there was a time when Tommy had uh, left Sticks. He was in Damn Yankees and he was playing this, and I saw it because I, I saw the bid in, in concert. It was uh, Jack Blades made fun of Babe and Tommy Shaw made fun of Sister Christian. It was just a, it was a shtick, okay. Uh, if you were there, you kind of understood it because that band was filled with a lot of testosterone. I mean, it was just a big kind of heavy rock band had Ted Nugent in it. And at some point, Dennis runs runs into Tommy in an elevator and says, hey, Tommy, you know, this is my song, Babe, and, and it means something to me. And, you know, why are you using it to as a, as a shtick, as a bit of bit in your show? And uh, Tommy said, that's cool. I'll stop doing it. And he did. And then later on, you know, they, they get together and they record Lady 95 uh, story goes, everybody's sitting down, they're having dinner together, it's a love fest, they go on a tour, the tour works out okay, and then eventually, you know, business, things get in the way. Now, Dennis's biggest issue is that uh, the band went on without him, and uh, I, 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 you know, here's the thing, and, like, I get it, you, you wrote these songs and they're very important to you, they're very important to me too, not as important to me as they are you, Dennis, uh, but... You know, un unfortunately, you can't go back and change that. I mean, when the situation came with John Panazzo and he was sick and the band went on, the band went on. And it was a different band. It was never the same after John was gone. And that's not a slight to Todd Zuckerman because he's considered one of the greatest drummers around today and probably one of the greatest drummers in the history of, you know, rock music, certainly arena rock. So... It's a business decision. And then there's hard feelings at the end of it. Does that make it right that the band went on without you? No, the band went on without JC too when JC left. Now, uh, yes, Dennis wrote the songs. Okay. They were very uh, important to him. And I think it is much... As we hear from Tommy and JY how, oh, you know, those times with Dennis were horrible. And... We, we hear from Dennis like, oh, you know, I really wish I, I could get back together and in some form of like a, a tour or whatever. Uh, I was pleased to read today that they 
that Dennis said, I don't want a tour. I, I, you know, Dennis, Dennis, let me tell you the thing about Dennis that I respected the most when I interviewed him is because he told me when they were on tour, they, that he, he brought like his wife and kids along because he really wanted to be close to his family. I mean, how do you not respect that? So he's not quite the road dog that the current members of Sticks are. I think that's where the disconnect always was, is it sticks, if you look at the level of touring, I mean, Tommy and JY love to perform live. They like to tour. They must like to travel. All those things. Uh, but again, what, what has happened is, is now you have these two two camps that are, that are, are battling when they don't need to battle. My honest opinion is if Dennis, Tommy, JY wind up in a room together, uh, they're going to hug they're going to hug and a lot of this stuff is just going to be bygones and even if they never sang a note together which would be a shame but even if they never did the fact that they could resolve this difference will be what's best not only for the legacy of the band but it will be better for the fan base now there's always going to be people that are going to say you know i'm tommy jy people or i'm dennis people you know all that stuff as 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 you know as everyone knows we live in one of the most divisive times politically at least in my lifetime i mean i wasn't around during the civil war but i i (laughs) which clearly was more divisive but boy it just doesn't feel good you know, people, people are fighting each other. And one of the things that sticks always provided me throughout my life is uh, a sense of, of stability, of happiness. It's, it's a place that I can go, whether it's a sticks concert with Lawrence Gowan or the music of sticks being played by Dennis DeYoung. Because, you know, because the real, here's the thing, here's, here's the real sticks, right? This is, this is it right here. Okay, Cornerstone. Okay, now a lot of people go, oh, Cornerstone, I'm all the Sticks records you can pick. This is my very first Sticks record, first Sticks concert. Sentimental favorite. Love this record. Love every note of it. Know every note of it. It's incredible. Now, I could say the same thing about Grand Illusion, Peace of Eight, Paradise, you know, Sticks One Equal. I mean, I go through the whole catalog, whatever. I love them all. Okay, love the Dennis solo albums. I got the JY solo albums. I got Glenn Burtnick solo albums. But this one, this is where it started. This record, okay? So again, when you get to this divisiveness over the song Babe, I mean, that drives me crazy too because it's Babe's an important song to me too. It is. I love that song. It was one of my first favorite stick songs. Um, so yeah, so who, who's going to make the call? Because I think that was one of the things that I really appreciated in this latest interview is that... that the interviewer just said, hey, you ever try to call him? Why not call him? Why not Why not somebody call somebody and say, you know what? This stuff's got to end. Let's just get together. And let's get together for our own peace of mind. Okay? Because it's healthy. There's nothing healthier than forgiveness. You can't rewrite history. Uh, you know... But I think we have to realize that every one of us as people, whether we're in a rock band or not, is that when you look back on things, you still look through the lens and the mindset that you're in. So if you're not talking to somebody, you look back on the relationship for all the things that justify the fact that you're not talking to each other. You don't look back and go, man, I remember all, I remember the best of times, you know. You don't. That's just human. That's human nature. And you know, when you, when you when you go back and and you resolve things, that's when you can go back and enjoy what you did. And and that's not that's not going to happen. I, I don't care if Tommy says he's put Dennis's his feelings about Dennis in a box, or if JY says he's moved on or whatever. Um, I think ultimately the issue is it's the business end of it. The business end of it is over, gentlemen. So at this point, the thing that would be the greatest is just even a even a Polaroid. Well, I don't know. We really use this Polaroid. I'll wrap it up because I'm just rambling. But Dennis, Tommy, JY, Chuck, 
I speak for a lot of fans when I say we love you guys. We love we love what you did. It's important to us. Uh, I, I think I think it's important to you what you guys did. I don't think you can make that kind of music and never have gotten along together as as human beings. Although maybe some bands have done it. But whatever the case, there was a time where you guys got along, and uh, everybody's getting everybody's getting too old. Everybody's getting too old to, to hold on to these grudges, to you know fuel these music channels that that do nothing but but stir the pot and say. Oh. Somebody make the call. Somebody please just pick up the phone and call the other one. And say, guys, let's have a cup of coffee. Let's let's reminisce. Let's do that kind of stuff. You know, let's stop the fighting. And you know, uh, what a powerful message from a band that has written so many great songs with just great messages, messages of hope, of all kinds of things. And I don't care if Tommy wrote them or J.Y. wrote them or whoever. Dennis great songs that mean a lot to us and you know what you guys as individuals mean a lot to us as well so i hope you can resolve this i hope you pick up the phone and call each other uh if you never sing a note together i don't care i just want you to to be able to to sail out as friends so that we as a fan community can move towards that that unity as well all right. Hey, thanks for tuning in with Tom. Hopefully this is the <laughs> this is the last the last one about this particular subject or at least the last one for a while. And uh everybody that's subscribed and giving me feedback, uh good, bad, or indifferent, I, I do appreciate you. I, I say that with all sincerity. I don't claim to be the expert on all things. Uh I try to keep things as positive as possible because again, I know I know what music means to me, and I know that anybody that tunes into something like this, that they're like me. Music means a lot to them. It's very important. Thanks for tuning in, Tom. See you next time.